are shooting episode five of season four, and um, this episode has to do with um, some things like me and well Heather and um, Ed doing the DNA testing through you know Ancestry.com, finding out our um, history, and um, also um, Bob and Morgan decided to do some product placement in the episode, which in for some really funny scenes. Um, and then also, uh, oh, one word you should never ever say at the fire station um, is quiet. And uh, you'll find out exactly what happens when someone does say that word and how it's a big no-no, big. So, say, I, I, sir, hold on. Let me just see so you get take a bite because it looks. I always complain about big bangs. Every day, never take bites. Okay, so I can take a bite with my hot sauce. Oh, oh no! Oh no! I don't care. Oh, no! 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 Your car slap. Oh. I can't stop laughing at the woman driver's <laughs> no survivor. <laughs> I almost started cracking That's up. That's pretty good. Uh. I'm actually glad you said that earlier because if you didn't, I would stop. Hey, let's switch. So, Adam, how did you come up with this uh, scene with the hot sauce? Well, I sort of, I was, I needed to come up with something for Bob and Morgan to do together, so I was thinking. Um, okay, so it would be funny if, like, you know, Morgan put Bob up to doing something for the documentary, and then I thought, okay, um, she'd have to do some kind of product placement. And it was like, okay, what kind of product placement would make sense for a documentary about a fire station? And my mind went to hot sauce. And so then I just came up with Hardigan's Flaming Taco Sauce. Yeah, yeah I designed that. You happy with my design? It is wonderful. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you had something in mind or... That is more or less what I have. Okay, all right. And we're talking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so cut! What are you doing, Cheryl, in this scene? <laughs> I'm hungry! <laughs> what are you getting? <laughs> I told you. So what did you say the scene feels like? You're picking oh, for pick lice? We're picking for lice. <laughs> is this your first time acting? It is. Yeah, all right. Well, well I act on stage when I sing, but that's different. Right, right. Different. Where do you, what's the band you're singing? Um, Jessica's jam band right now. Oh, nice. There you go. Sweet. <laughs> so you're gonna take a bite after all that hot sauce that was poured in there. Yup. Here you go. All right. Let's see it. Gross. Yeah. It's got a little spicy kick to it. Yeah. And what's the type of... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Thanks a lot, Acting <laughs> Chief Bob! Out again. Alright. Go ahead. Uh-huh. <laughs> you usually try to hit the side of the face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! <laughs> oh, okay. How'd that feel, Chris, huh? Yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I came so soon. Should you be happy with this is Paragon's director right on? Are we missing? That one says Paragons. Oh, I thought it. Hey. And now it is. So, Cheryl, I heard you're really pregnant. That's why we wrote it into the series. Is that true? <laughs> I, I feel like we've been saying that for a year now. I know. So, like, <laughs> longest pregnancy ever. <laughs> so, what m movie magic we use them to give you a belly? It's like an elephant pregnancy. Yeah. Like Just a rolled up sheet and a back brace. <laughs> and a back brace. All right. Back brace courtesy of Mr. Judy. I had nothing to do with the right sheet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the story and he's sticking to it. it. All right. Oh my gosh, he's making me a little weird. Feels <laughs> like weird. Oh, right. I always hate you doing it because I feel like I'm insulting writers. The writer deserves to be insulted. Oh. He's an evil. <laughs> What scene are we doing here today, guys? This is the grip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? 
Again, M1 respond priority one to the overdose in the park. And it's slower. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's just gonna say. Yeah. So what's going on with your character, Bob, in season four? Well, really just continuing from season three, he is still acting chief and still really has no clue what he's doing and is just still completely flustered and stressed by everything that's happening. I wrote a whole storyline for this episode we're doing today and I've, you know, touched up, touched up some of those scenes in the earlier episodes this season. Well, I just wrapped uh, Choirwood, the musical, a feature-length uh, musical film that is in post-production, should hopefully be finished by later this year, and both of the Space People movies are available on Amazon right now.